Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll discuss how to use the various options for entity transformations in the Edit menu. The first transformation we're going to look at is Scale. And this is useful if we need to change um, units or maybe we've imported a scale model we need to do a full study. So we're going to select the model and go to Edit, Transform, Scale. And then the first thing we're going to need to do is pick an anchor point and then apply a scaling factor. And a single value will do uniform scaling, a vector would do non-uniform scaling. And we can see in yellow the scaled version of our geometry still shown here in its original size. Okay, so now maybe I don't need to do a quarter symmetry, but I need to do a half symmetry study. So I can quickly do that by Control c to copy, Control v to paste. And now I'm going to choose Mirror. And we need to define a plane to mirror across. So we're going to use a three-point definition and pick three points along this edge. OK. OK. And we have it, our half-symmetry model. Here I have the surface mesh on the hub and one blade of this propeller. And I'm going to quickly generate the surface mesh on the other blade using copy and paste. So we're going to select the domains, copy, paste. And in this case, we're going to rotate. And then we first need to define our rotational axis. And I happen to have a curve here that defines it. But you could use two points and then specify our angle. In this case, it's 180 degrees. And we have quickly generated the surface mesh on the other blade. OK, so we need to create a wake sheet for this wing. And we can start that process by copying these trailing edge connectors and pasting them downstream. And we need to pick a starting point for our translation. And we're going to go 1,000 units in the x direction. And now I need to, I'd need i like to remove this angle. So I'm going to select that connector, Edit, Transform, Stretch. I need to pick an anchor. So I want that point to stay constant. And we want to move this point over here. And we can drag it around. And I'm going to try to make this as straight as possible. I can stretch it. You know, make it shorter or longer too, but I'm going to try to make it straight as possible. And there we have it. And this concludes our overview of the entity transformations. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.